Who's there? Me, remember? Hey, you okay? Lord, those eyes. Kindly leave. This is my office, and I would like you to please leave, or else I'm going to call security. I'm sorry, I must have scared the hell out of you. Something like that. Goodbye. Why don't I go out and, and come back in again? Okay, I I'll knock and, and call my name. No, and... why don't you go out and stay out? You are Jillian Coleridge. Your sister is Faith, your brother is Roger, and your fiancé is Frank. Frank Ryan, like it says on the door. Now, Frank's cousin is Barry Ryan, who is my manager. I, in case you've blocked it, am Ken George Jones and I sing and be famous and things. Now, the question is this. Are you smart and mean, like Delia says? Are you smart and warm and feeling? And... Go with Delia. Yeah, I think I'll trust my intuition. Mr. Jones, I did not ask you in here. I am working, please. Well, then I'll work, too. I mean, I'll talk business with you. No, 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 look, look. I know I up upset you and scared you, but look, I also did you a favor. Let me have five minutes out of gratitude. You eavesdropped on me at the Crystal Palace. You tried to pick me up. You have not done me any favors. And then you barge in here. Yeah, but I let you know that you left your door unlocked. I may have saved your life. A woman alone in an office building at night. Hey, that's dangerous. What's that film where uh, she's sitting, working away with only the desk light on, you know? And, and um, it's all shadowy everywhere. And the door starts to open real slow. Your hands start sweating. And finally... Finally, you see this hideous green thing, you know? And, 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 of course, she doesn't see it, so you're there yelling away. Of course, she doesn't hear you. All right. Five minutes. Thank you. Well, what do you want? Find out about us. Us? There's a connection. No. Maybe you don't feel it yet. You do. Well, I... <laughs> I bump into somebody and he announces that I'm the... most beautiful woman in the world and then he turns out to be a big rock star. Well, yes, of course. Of course what? I'm intrigued. A little. That's not what I mean. Shall I tell you what I mean? No. Thank you. was this week's most explosive soap star moment. I get a lot of compliments from women. They call me a lady man. I have two problems. My weight. <laughs> and your hair. And my hair. <laughs> if I can't be a soap star, then no one can! You be the judge. Go to SoapNet.com to vote for your favorite scene and catch SoapNet's explosive original series, I Wanna Be a Soap Star. Tonight at 11, only on SoapNet. First she is found. Now Margaret dies. Be there for the shocking twist on One Life. Tonight at 9, only on SoapNet. I'm famished. Mm. Hey, you know what I want? Hmm. Grilled tuna. Sounds good. Where do you want to go? How about right here? 
Check out Starker's tuna fillets. Grilled, marinated, sliced tuna that's glazed with delectable sauces. The Starkest Flavor Fresh Pouch seals in the fresh taste for a healthy, delicious dinner. I love this tuna. Mm -hmm. If thanks, I think you're kind of special too. Starkest tuna fillets. Great taste is right here. All right, America, the votes are in, and your choice for coffee's next perfect mate is... Oh, coconut cream and vanilla chai spice. You are both coffee's next perfect mate. Look for these new Nestle Coffee Mate Creamers in stores now. A Good Woman, now on DVD. Buongiorno. Based on the seductive play by Oscar Wilde. I feel like a princess in a fairy tale. Helen Hunt, Scarlett Johansson, Tom Wilkinson. Every saint has a past, every sinner has a future. A Good Woman, only today. This is you after an energy drink. Unfortunately, so is this. Why do energy drinks make you crash? One minute you're wired up, the next you feel worse than before. The answer is the large amounts of sugar and caffeine. That's why you should try a new liquid energy shot called 5-Hour Energy. With 5-Hour Energy, you can leave grogginess behind and sail through your day without feeling jittery, tense, or... You know. That's because 5-Hour Energy contains a powerful blend of B vitamins for energy, amino acids for focus and better mood, and enzymes to help you feel it faster. There's zero sugar, zero net carbs, and only as much caffeine as a cup of coffee. The two-ounce shot takes just seconds to drink, and in minutes, you're feeling awake, alert, and productive. And that feeling lasts for hours. So if your energy drink makes you crash, switch to 5-Hour Energy. Hours of energy now, no crash later. Find out if 5-Hour Energy is right for you. It's available at these fine stores. Or for more information, go to 5-HourEnergy.com. Emily! Darling, I'm going to be out quite late, and it's Margaret's night off, so let's get our signal straight. You want me to tell you how much damage I'm going to do while you're gone? Want to know if you have any plans? Sure. I thought I'd have the gang over for popcorn and soda. And then after that, we'd all go down to the sweet shop and send some golden oldies on the jukebox, and we'd come back here for an orgy, okay? I'll call in at midnight. That's ridiculous. Be there. Let's see. Hello. Oh, Mrs. Woodard. <sighs> yes. This is Michael Pavel. Is Kimberly there? Well, she said something about going out with some friends, but I'll that? check. It's the Pavel boy. Now, Kim, you've used him enough. Michael, hi. Hi. Guess where I am? Not where I'd like you to be. A block away, and if your mother's there, no cracks. Wait a second. Mother, goodbye. I won't have you going out to Brooklyn. I'm sorry. Now, give me that one again. Did I hear you right? Kim, I will stay in this apartment until you promise that All you right, are... All right, then. I promise. Besides, he's at work. Now, will you please stop? You are embarrassing me. I will talk to you later. You're at the Harborside, and I miss the rest. The Harborside's closing. I got laid off this morning. Oh, well, that's awful. I know. Why don't you come over and tell me about it, and I'll cheer you up. But it's okay. I saw Delia Coldridge, and I talked to her, and... Astronaut. You're not working at the Crystal Palace. Yep. Michael, do you know what this means? Yeah. Wait a second. I'm not going to call you. It's a bad idea. I will just trust to your good sense. Thank you. Good night. Yeah? Well, I don't walk to work anymore, but then I don't have to take the subway to see you. So I figure that leaves hey. me... Hey! <laughs> I hope we're going to celebrate. Well, that's what I sort of had in mind, if you're free. Fifteen minutes, and I will be waiting. I see thousands of people a day sometimes. I meet hundreds. But moments like we had tonight, ten times in my life, well, not that many. Three out of your five minutes are up. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Perfectly. And I am neither interested nor available. I figured you didn't understand. You made that crack about trying to pick you up. I wasn't. I beg your pardon. You were. All right, but it was more than that. It was different. And it got very different when I was singing to you. D did you think I was just singing to the crowd? didn't really think about it one way or the other. Mr. Jones, I am going to set you straight, and then I am going to say good night. 
Number one, I am engaged to be married. Number two, I am in the middle of writing a brief. And number three, it was nice knowing you. You sure do set a fella straight. I hope so. Well, and I appreciate that. Good. Now, will you lock the door on your way out? Just push the button. Sure. I'll do that right now. Good night. Pardon? Did you say the, uh, the light? I said good night. And I am not amused. Miss Coleridge, you've convinced me. I was wrong about our connection. It is not a personal one. It's a professional one. I need a New York lawyer, and I'd like you to represent me. Well, that is not feasible. Pay a $3,000 retainer. No. That's $3,000 a month. My services are not... Plus expenses. What are you doing? No. Don't tell me. I don't want to hear about it. Just stop. You think I'm putting you on or coming on or both, huh? I think that you are so used to getting a particular response from women that you can't accept anything else. But you're not a woman to me now. You're a lawyer. When I'm put in my place, I stay there. I really, truly, honest engine, want you for your mind. 4,000. You're serious? Do you know Billy Marks in L.A.? I know of him. Yeah, well, he does the contracts out there, see? But I'm living here now, and I hate Park Avenue types, so I... What's this neighborhood called? Riverside. Right. So I'm looking for a Riverside type, and lo and behold, you walk into my life? Well, that must have been what I felt between us, the magic of the law. Well, dead serious. I do play around with words, and that happens with songwriters. <laughs> but I'm absolutely serious. What do you say? No. You drive a hard bargain. 4,000. I five. am not bargaining. I don't do entertainment law. Oh? I know virtually nothing about it. I'll bet you're a quick study. I am. But I have no desire to study entertainment law. Are you kidding? It's the best kind of law there is. Mm. Crazy hours, crazy people, unpredictable, exciting. He'd work with Billy Marks, and he's terrific, mean, and very much like you. Yeah, so meet Stan Cutler and Milton Bosworth, <laughs> great promoters, treacherous human beings. The first time my back's turned, they'll probably try to hire you away. I would be an interesting client. More interesting than a yellow pad and a stack of notes on a beautiful night. Why not? Because a client needs an attorney with the experience and the training to protect his interests. Now, instincts and uh, connections don't have anything to do with that choice. You're so wrong. What is your training? Tell me. Tax. Tax? Mm -hmm. Thank you, God. What else? <laughs> A little law. Uh, criminal law, mm. medical law, wills and estates. You see? I amaze myself sometimes. Uh, I know that I can find you a specialist. No, no, no. I hate specialists. I, I want an all-around lawyer, and that's what you are. Whatever you don't know about entertainment, you can pick up in a week or two. The offer is $4,500. And we can settle it on a handshake. Or if that's too personal, a smile will do just fine. You need to consult your partner. Can you call him? No, 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 that's uh, not necessary. Do we have a deal? Yeah.
Can we talk? Or should I get out of here? Frank, I'm very lousy company. Maybe tomorrow. Come here. Come here. Come on. Now, do you want to go first, or should I? What happens when 10 strangers in one house all want the same thing? I want to be a soap star. I want to be a soap star. I adore arguing. And I hate confrontation. Woo! We're going to have a party. Why be rude? I'm not going to let anyone stop me. I'm here to win. Bring it on. Who will you root for? A new season of I Want to Be a Soap Star, tonight at 11. Thursday, June 22nd, ABC will boldly go where no competition has gone before. Master, Master of Champions. Champions. Each week, contestants with amazing one-of-a-kind skills and dance sprints compete in outrageous events. Helicopter, Helicopter bottle opener. opener. It's the most extreme, over-the-top, eye-opening show ever. Master, Master of Champions. Champions. Premieres Thursday, June 22nd, only on ABC. Excuse me while I slip into something fabulous. New Garnier Nutrice. Rich, radiant color. Only Nutrice nourishes with grapeseed and now double the avocado oil. Garnier Nutrice. Nourished hair, even better color. Garnier. In the 21st century, it's not the drive, it's the journey. Welcome to 21st Century Auto Insurance. Our journey began in 1958 and continues today, with 90% of our customers renewing each year. For nearly half a century, we've honored what you value most, loyalty, dependability, savings. This is our commitment to you. Call 1-800-211-SAVE, and you could save 21% on your auto insurance. Welcome to the 21st Century. If they can move comfortably, you can too. Haynes Comfort Soft Bras and Panties. Comfort reinvented. The biggest event of the season, Jewelry Fest, June 11th through the 17th. For seven days. 24 hours a day, Jewelry Television celebrates Jewelry Fest. The party starts June 11th, only on Jewelry Television and JewelryTelevision.com. Girls Gone Wild Ultimate Rush takes you where the action is with more sex, more excitement, and more hot young girls than ever before for only $9.99. Use your credit card and get Girls Gone Wild first time is free. These hot college girls will never forget their first time, and neither will you. Get the perfect pair for only $9.99. Then you'll automatically receive the hottest Girls Gone Wild videos every month, no minimum to buy. Cancel any time. Contained sexual content must be at least 18 to order. Call 800-905-1526 to get Ultimate Rush for only $9.99. Use your credit card and get first time is free. 800-905-1526 or online at girlsgonewild.com. If you think $5 doesn't go very far, wait till you see where it takes your television with DirecTV. Now, you can add over 30 exciting channels of awesome entertainment, amazing sports, really cool kids, and fascinating educational programming. Just transform your Total Choice package into Total Choice Plus for as little as $5 more per month. That's incredible value. Upgrade to Total Choice Plus programming today. Visit directtv.com or call 1-800-531-5000. I already had my say at the Crystal Palace. Your turn. Okay. Something very nice. Johnny's coming home tomorrow. Kids. <laughs> They're miracles. It's wonderful. I don't suppose that changes the way no. you feel about it. No. I've resigned. It's final. I thought you'd probably pick that up when I was screaming at my sister and wrecked your entire dinner. Well, I'm a diehard. Faith, it's your decision. It's your life. And for whatever it's worth, I'm behind you. It's worth a lot. Thank you. And sooner or later, you're going to be hearing that from Jill. <laughs> now, she went to Marshall Westheimer because she loves you. Yes, it was impulsive. And yes, it was stupid. And she'll see that. No, she sees Dad, not me. And, and she sees the Coleridge name at Riverside Hospital. So does Roger. Yeah. I can't resign. I I can't make a mistake that could cost little Johnny's life. I can't want to drink so much it wakes me up from a sound sleep. Now, you see, I'm a Coleridge. 
And by definition, that means I'm a very good girl. Problem is, I don't feel good. Scary, huh? <laughs> Goodbye, Dr. Jekyll. Hello, Miss Hyde. No, it doesn't scare me. Mm, with or without fangs? <laughs> with. Well, maybe a little bit. <laughs> you are going through some major crisis, aren't you? So it seems. What about the drinking, Faith? Well, I've stopped for 48 hours. Good. And I'm working my way to AA. Good. Anything I can do, you just... You're doing it. By being here and speaking your mind, but not dumping on me. Well, there is one point that I haven't quite uh -oh. made yet. Now, just tell me to shut up, okay? No, no, say it. I do agree with Jill about one thing. You do tend to come down on yourself very, very hard. I have now, if you have to stop practicing medicine because of this business with Jono, aren't you the one who's not allowing Faith Coleridge one single mistake? Frank? Yeah. You're right. I hate to hear it, but you're right. Faith? Yeah? Why did the moron tell his fiancée that she was dumb? I don't know why. Because he wanted a silent partner. Did you get it, thumb, silent? Well, what do you want? It was right off the top of my head. You told Jill she was dumb for going to Marshall? Or is uh, that a joke? Wait. No, it's no joke. It was a fight. See, there we were, out on the terrace of Delia's Crystal Palace, the moonlight. And we were at each other's throats. I'm only telling you that because I don't want you to think that you wrecked our dinner. You didn't. Oh, Frank, I'm sorry. But actually, that was pretty good off the top of your head. <laughs> <laughs> I try. <laughs> you do. And I'm grateful. Listen, you go home, make up with her, oh. and tell her... No way. <laughs> Just speak for yourself. I'm not ready for that yet. So where is your mother? She's out. And I mean all gone. How can you be so sure? Because she's in Washington for the night. Next, seduction rules the bedroom and the boardroom on The Young and the Restless. Then it's All My Children, followed by One Life on SoapNet. Can't get enough of Nick and Phyllis? We'll never forget what we share. It'll be a good memory. Want to see more between Sharon and Brad? I'll always be there for you, Sharon. There's nothing I wouldn't do for you. Need to watch Y&R at night and don't know where else to turn? You don't seem to understand the seriousness of this situation, young man. No need to panic. Now you can get your Y&R fix five nights a week. I'm going to make you the happiest woman on the face of the earth. Catch same-day episodes of Y&R. Coming up next. All right, count me in. Only on SoapNet. This summer, 10 contestants, three judges, one question. Who's going to land you? The prize is gigantic. It's life-changing. I'm ready. SoapNet's original series, I Want to Be a Soap Star, is back. Jerk. Tramp. Kid. Pretty hot stuff. Someone will walk away with a role of a lifetime, a 13-week contract on One Life to Live. I wonder who my next co-star will be. A brand new season of I Want to Be a Soap Star, tonight at 11, only on SoapNet. Don't be fooled. Not all formulas are alike. Only Good Start Supreme DHA and ARA has a patented process that starts with 100% whey, broken down to make easy-to-digest comfort proteins. Only Nestle Good Start Supreme has them. Know what time it is? Time to show! How right you are, because triple acting show works three ways! See, spray and wash dual runs. Yeah. Triple acting show clings to the stain. Whoa! To penetrate yeah. and lift them away. Three. To get out tough stains like blood, yeah. dirty motor oil. Yeah. Triple acting show does a number on the toughest stains. Got a stain? Check it out. Essie Johnson, a family company. 
Introducing new Nicorette Fruit Chill, the stop smoking gum that helps fight cravings and is coated with a great fruit flavor. So you might actually use it, which means this time it could help you quit. New Nicorette Fruit Chill. Start chewing, start quitting. like you were dozing. Just thinking. <sighs> May I? <clears throat> of course. <clears throat> thinking about what? Things. Mm -hmm. Work, us, tuna fish. In that order? More or less. Well, where do we start? From tuna fish and work our way back? I never did quite have dinner. Me neither. I'm sorry about tonight. I should have kept my mouth shut. You're entitled to an opinion? And I expressed it at the wrong time, and certainly in, in the wrong way. <laughs> the place wasn't so hot either. <laughs> no, Delia's Crystal Palace's terrace is meant for better things than fighting. I'm sorry, too. I know you've had a rough couple of days. I wanted tonight to be special. I shouldn't have blown my top. I really am sorry. Where you're concerned. But where Faith is concerned, I would go to Marshall and do the same thing again in a minute. And she would resign again in a minute. <sighs> I stopped by her to see her just now. Was she drinking? That's what I was no, afraid. No, no, not a drop. She's still angry and hurt. Why? Because I tried to save her career? The way she sees it, you interfered when you knew... I she... knew and I know that my sister has very strong ties to Riverside Hospital and she is a fool to give that up because of one mistake. Well, you are just going to have to realize that that's her decision to make. Uh-oh, come on, come on. Uh-oh, come on, we're getting into heavy, muddy, muddy waters. I want to do that. All right, look, we've covered tuna fish, we've covered us. Uh, you want to discuss work? Why don't we make dinner? Well, actually, work was fascinating tonight. Hmm? I stopped by the office to recover from the Crystal Palace, and I accepted a new client. At this hour? Well, apparently, Mr. Jones acts when the spirit moves him. Ken George Jones. Oh, my cousin Barry, he... Yeah, I know, he manages him. And now I represent him, in New York, at least. You? In entertainment <laughs> law? Well, uh, consider this, $4,500 a month retainer. Well, that's, that's terrific, but, but you hate the field, you hate the people in it, right? And now you're telling me, what, Joan sounds like somebody you would detest on sight. Oh, he's uh, quite a pleasant man. And I never said I hated that. Oh, you it... never encouraged me and my work. Actors can't pay, Frank, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> But Mr. Jones is a musician, and he can pay. Uh-huh. Aren't you pleased? I'm mystified. What's he like? Well, I'll tell you. The nicest thing about him mm -hmm. is that he is going to give us the money for the down payment on the brownstone. Well, when you put it that way... <laughs> Are we all talked out? Yep. Not mad anymore? Mm-mm. So what's it going to be, bed or food? Both, in that order. Come see my room. You sure it's OK? Mother won't be back until tomorrow. Late tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>